And here to show you a little bit about heat patching uh, on materials. You know, um, you'll get a tear sometimes. Th these are uh, vinyl coated nylon uh, or vinyl coated polyesters. And so a typical tear is like an L-shaped tear. It might be on our Duratarp product on the, on the box. So you may want to stretch it over your box and work with a background surface. Um, and I'll show you in just a minute, but when, you, when you're heat sealing, um, it's helpful if you have somebody to, to help hold while you seal, but it's not necessary. And you do want to have a firm work surface. This is a hot air gun. Leister makes this one. We sell these. Uh, this is a good gun. It heats fast. It works well, but you don't have to use this from us. You can get a paint stripper from Lowe's or Home Depot for around 50 bucks. These are around $400, but they'll give you years and years of good service. Uh, you need a roller to apply pressure. What we're going to do is just cut a patch a little bit bigger, maybe an inch bigger all the way around, and want to round the corners of that patch so that we don't have any edges that are easy to come up later. So just going to size that patch. We'll send you this material, uh, whatever you need, um, to match hopefully the color of your product. Uh, you may have received some of this material in a patch kit. Trim that down just a little bit more. Don't need to make it any bigger. You can be more cosmetic. I do recommend that you practice this a time or two, especially if it's a cosmetic application because um, it just takes a little practice and I myself have not done it in quite a while uh, until today and I practiced once before I'm helping you do this right now so hopefully I'm a little better Cut on our heat gun another good thing about this Leister gun is it heats up really really fast so that's convenient um, what we're going to do is basically just want to get it started and this thing will it's like 1100 degrees so you can burn your hand but just be careful Nothing big. I just want to get it hot. Both surfaces. Try to apply the heat to both surfaces. And then take your roller and make some contact. And you'll see it begins to stick. It's not sealed yet. You can see where it's getting kind of shiny. And that's where I'm talking about cosmetics. You want to get enough heat without getting too much. But you want to make sure this patch stays on there so your product stays nice and dry. See smoke? You know you're sealing. Normally I would be wearing a respirator or a mask, but in order for this small patch to be heard on this video, I'm not. Um, but you might want to do that. It's up to you. It's probably not a bad idea. These, uh, as you can see now, we're just working our way around. And this is where I say, if you do have a, a helper, one person can be heating, the other person can be rolling. You can get a little neater appearance, and it'll go a little faster. I'm right-handed, and I'm doing this backwards. But just want you to get the idea of how to do a heat patch. You can also do glue patches, but they're not near as good. Now, what you'll notice is I'm, I'm not sealed up in here yet. I've almost gone too far. But while it's still warm, you can peel it back a little. Once it cools, you won't be able to. So I'm going to get this heat gun up in here. And as far as I can, and try. Now you can see I burn it a little bit there, so that's kind of what I'm talking about. But we can fix that. Primarily what we're trying to do is get this product back to watertight. And the last thing you'll do is get these final edges down. And we've got folks here that do this more often than I do, and they won't leave these wrinkles that you're seeing here. But I just want you to see how you can repair these nymph, these uh, leaking holes or, or, or cuts in your product. Um, now, the last thing I'll do, and you really kind of need to let it cool, but you can see I missed a little area there. That looks good. Um, you just want to go back and get those edges. And just make sure she's watertight. And that's about it.